What's the uh, what's the latest on your recruitment? Where are you in that process? Uh, everyone pretty much knows that I probably cut my lift after PCM, so I've been talking to my family. So in the next couple of days, my lift will be cut down to probably ten. So I go from there. Any schools you know for sure are going to make that cut? Uh, no, no schools on there for sure. I mean, I'm still still looking and still seeing what other schools have to offer and see what the coaches are saying. But no schools automatically on the list. What, uh, what, what are some of the schools, I guess, contacting you the most right now? Who's, uh, who's calling you the most? Uh, a lot of schools. I mean, Duke, Kentucky, UNC, they've been to some of the games. That's what you. So I've been seeing a lot of the head coaches watching my game. So they're, they're here to support me, and they're uh, showing that they're really uh, making me a priority and they uh, care for uh, my decision making. Do you notice that, and how important is that when you see some head coaches out there? Uh, that's, that's, like these? that's really important. I mean, there's a lot of games going on, a lot of top players, and when you see the coaches there watching you, I mean, Take that and take that in priority. So I mean, a lot of coaches are there. I mean, every single game, I'm pretty much all the coaches are there. Uh, the seats are all filled. So I mean, it's just it's a blessing to see all the coaches there. What's your overall timeline in terms of when you want to make a decision eventually? Uh, I definitely want. I don't want to make it during my high school season before. So I see uh, I'll probably make it sometime next year. Uh, go through my high school season, let some of the coaches come watch my practice or watch me play in high school my last year. So I go from there. What factors will go into making that final ten? What are you looking for? Yeah, just now, I mean, coming to Peace Jam, watching me play, uh, coming to my house, uh, in home visits, uh, coming to my high school when that time period comes, coming to my high school, watching me practice, uh, coming to talk to me, just making sure that they really care, that they're staying consistent with their recruitment, and they're here, just making sure that they're here uh, at my school and everything. Are you still talking to some of the USA basketball guys about coordinating where you might go, or, or are you kind of branched off for that? Oh, no, not really. I don't really do package deals like that, like some of the other players talk about. I don't really do package deals, but a lot of the players say they really want to play with me, so I see what their list is, see what my list is, and see where we'll go from there. I'm, I'm pretty sure wherever I go, I mean, there's going to be a kid on the team that I played with before, so it'll be good, and uh, I'll, I'll take it from there. Who do you talk to the most in this class? Like, who are your closest buddies? Yeah, I mean, mostly the USA guys, like Wendell, Gary, Jared, uh, some of those, Trey, Mike, I talk to all those a lot, so those are some of the kids I'm pretty close with. How active has UNC been? Oh, yeah. yeah I, talk, I talk to the coaches a lot. I mean, they're really active in their recruitment. They've been pretty much at most every single my game here so far. So they're doing a really good job recruiting and we'll see what they have to, uh, have to say later on. What do you like about them? I like how they run fast pace. I like Coach Roy. I like his playing style. I mean, he's a, he's a really good coach. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame coach. I like how they run fast break and they get everybody involved. And that's something I like about them. Do you have any official visits set up already? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm sitting down with some of my family, take some visits after I cut my list down, but as of now, none are set. Any that you especially want to see that you know you already you'd like to get to? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I really, I, I wish I could visit every school, but of course that really can't happen. So I sit down with my family and see what some of the uh, visits that I should take and some visits that I shouldn't. But as of now, I mean, nobody really has a visit set. What has Kentucky said to you when they, when you know, lately as they make their push what's the what's the biggest selling point I mean just coach Powell just uh, he's basically says that I can play one through five on position list I can play in a position so that's some that's one of the message towards me when they came in for the in-home visit that I'm really a positionless player and that at Kentucky I thrive in his system so that's something that he's really told me is there anybody that uh, Duke's been really active I mean coach K came and watched my game today I mean some of the assistants were there the other day so they're coming making sure that they're pretty much at every game so I think they have one or two assists at every game that I'm at, so they're making sure that, that, this, uh, that I stay a priority to them, and that's something they're really going to be talking What's the message that they're, they're selling you on? Uh, just the way they play. They play free, I and mean, they give a lot of their players freedom, and that's something they like to run up and down. They give a lot of their wings a lot of freedom, so that's something I really like. Duke has been running such a great recruiting role. It almost seems like they get throughout the world. How attractive is that? You see kind of what they've been doing. Yeah, the last couple of years, Duke's got a lot of good talent. This, this 2016 class they did a really good job recruiting, so they're doing a, little, a good job in the 2017 class too. I mean, they're offering a lot of good guys, and I, I heard they're really uh, leaning towards Duke. So I see what some of the uh, some of the players commit, and Duke they're going to have another good class this year. Kentucky's up there I don't, know. I don't know how Coach K and some of the other coaches do it, but they're doing a really good job. I guess they must be saying the right words, but, I mean, so I don't know. They're doing a really good job in the recruitment, so, I mean, the next couple of years, they, they're they probably going to have another, a lot of good classes. Oh, one of the young models, you know, taking kids and trying to get players on this weekend. How much is that? There's a lot.
lot of schools that have a lot of one and done. So of course, Duke and Kentucky are some of the top schools that do one and done. So I mean, that's what a lot of a lot of players in our classes take in mind. But I mean, there's nothing really that I'm really focused on. I'm just focused on it's a, a good program that's uh, good for me and my family. It's something that I can go and I can trust the coaches. You said you feel like. Uh, or you've heard some of these 2017 guys might be leaning toward Duke. Who, who are those guys? No, I, I don't really know, but I mean, a lot of a lot of guys talk about Duke. I mean, a lot of 2017. There's like there's a whole bunch of kids. They all like Duke. So I mean, they're probably be on their list. So I'll see what they have to say. Does it, I mean, does it kind of help the fact that Coach K coaches the USA team and has relationships with these NBA guys? Is that something that high school kids think is a, a big deal, or how do you think that helps them? Oh, no, not really. I mean, I, I coach, coach K, he's been coaching USA basketball for a long time. And he's been around these NBA guys. He knows what it takes to get to the league. So a lot of players take that in, take that in, uh, in the state. So USA basketball is really good. It helped me out a lot. And Coach K, he does, he does, a, lot, he does a really good job with USA basketball. It's been a while since UNC has had all that type of like one and done type kid. Does that hurt them at all in terms of elite prospects looking Yeah, no, not really. I mean, they got, they're, they're really good every year. It don't matter who they get. They get a lot of good talent. Uh, Coach Roy, he, uses, he utilizes all of his uh, players in a really good role, so that's nothing really do anything. They don't get, they don't get the top players like Duke and Kentucky do, but every year they're really good and they do, they do really well with what they have.